All right, let's install Avid Pro Tools on the new MacBook with M1 chip. I'm just gonna scroll down on the website, go to the uh, Pro Tools first and download it here. It's gonna go create an account real quick. All right, I've created my account. Now we need to uh, create a new iLock account using the same email and password as my Avid Master account. I'm just gonna enter password here. And then in the next step, you just answer these questions and we click email my download links. There we go. Now we're going to wait for the email to come in. There we go. Here is the email. I'm just going to click the Mac button. You actually had to open link in new tab for the download to start. So for some reason, just clicking on the download didn't start the download. So that's something to keep in mind. We're going to wait for it to finish. Okay, the download is over and I have it open. So let's go ahead and double click the install icon. Click allow, allow, continue, continue, agree, install, enter the password. All right, the installation now is complete. I'm gonna close this, move to Ben, and then run it. There we go, it seems to be working just fine. Just gonna pick one of these templates. All right, it seems to be running just fine, although uh, you need to still do a bit of testing because for your particular use case, there might be issues. But uh, the program seems to be running without an issue so far. So basically that's Pro Tools first, running on a new MacBook with the M1 chip. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. You can also watch these videos, which I think you'd be very interested in. Let me know if you have a question in the comments below and I'll be seeing you in the next video.